Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about how to make Neuralink in Design Spark Mechanical. So please open your software and we will start by clicking File, New Design. Okay, from the sketch mode, first we will make a cylinder. In that case, we will click this one, the circle, and then click here at the center of the coordinate, and then move and make, um, in this case, I will make 50 millimeters diameter okay and then click select click the 3d mode and then click here pull we will make the cylinder 30 millimeters high okay that's it done now we will click home yes so in order to make knurling we will need to cut some portion of this uh, cylinder at the outer edge but to do that we will make a cutting surface okay in order to make the cutting surface, first we will click the top portion of this uh, cylinder or the top face and then click this one, the sketch mode. Okay, and then click this, the viewing cube. So we will get a top view. Zoom a little. And then uh, this time we will make a 2 mm deep cut. So I will use this line to make a helping uh, guidance here so this is two millimeters from the edge and then from here we will make a 90 degrees cut so meaning 45 to the left like this also uh, press escape click here again 45 to the right and then from this one to here so we will make a closed triangle but uh, click select first we have to remove this one the uh, guiding uh, lines okay click here and then press delete yes okay so the trick to make knurling in design spark mechanical is to copy the cutting uh, shape before we move to the 3d mode if you do uh, move to the 3d mode first or change the view to 3d mode first and then copy the triangles it will become uh, a bit difficult but if you do that in sketch mode it will be a lot more easy so in this case we will copy this triangle and then zoom out first okay we will copy by using the move pattern so click here move and then click this one the move radially about axis okay and then we will click this center move to the center of the cylinder and then click this one don't forget the create patterns and then after that we click this blue arrow and then move like this and after that we will input how many uh, copy of the pattern that we want so in this case I want 12 I'll type in 12 and press enter okay that's it press select done now we have 12 triangles that we can use to cut but this is still lines in sketch mode so we will have to convert this to surface in order to do that we need to hide the solid object first or the cylinder and then click this one 3d mode okay so now we have this surface as a cutter to make the knurling but uh, now we want to make the knurling diamond shape or checkered shape so it means we need to cut twice one with the right angle and one with the left angle so we will copy this one you can press ctrl c and then press again ctrl v on your keyboard okay we will rename the first one as um, cut to the right angle and then the second one we will rename cut to the left angle okay actually there are two set of triangles here so if I click one of them and move you can see that there are two sets of triangles so okay back again select yes now return again to the solid we will cut the solid but before we do that if you want to add some chamfer at the solid it's better to be done at this timing so before the knurling start in that case we will hide this cutting surface okay and then I'll select this edge and this edge pull click chamfer and I'll put three millimeters there okay click select home okay now we will start 
for the knurling process for the first uh, cut to the right hand angle so click this one or select all the triangles from the first surface okay and then after that click pull and then click this one revolve and then click this axis axis of the cylinder okay and then click this one revolve helix and let the right-handed helix still checked on because this will be the first cut for the right-handed helix and then we click this one cut make sure you click this one okay and after that we click on one of the triangle and drag to cut the cylinder in this case sorry before you do that check the pitch so in this case I'm using the pitch 240 millimeters meaning eight times of the uh, cylinder height in that case so that the knurling will uh, move at an angle at about one eighth of the uh, circle round so here click and drag done for the first cut okay click home nice now let's continue with the second cut click this one the cut left surface okay and then click pull click here the revolve and click here for the axis and then click revolve helix in this case we will to uncheck this one so it will become a left-handed helix and then click cut click again here one of the triangle and then drag and let it cut the cylinder it's a bit heavy computational process so we'll have to wait a moment okay click here for select and we will click home done so that's all for knurling i'm sure you can do it by yourself right now and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in the next video have a good day bye